Welcome once again. Physics lesson on floating and sinking. Just a continuation. Because we have seen what up thrust is and what Archimedes principle is, in this session, we can now check what the law of flotation states. Before we continue, kindly subscribe to Shifting In case of any questions, reach me through 07 04 153. 366. So reach me through this number. So the law of flotation. It has been experimentally proven that when a body is floating, it displaces the liquid on which it floats. Now, this liquid which gets displaced is equal to the mass of the solid which is floating on it. In other words, if this is a liquid, when we place a body here such that part of it is floating or it floats, when a body is floating, when a body is floating, this meniscus of the liquid doesn't remain the same. It has to at least get displaced. Therefore you find there is a liquid which gets displaced the weight of a floating object and that liquid which gets displaced as an equal volume to the body which is floating. Therefore we can just state the law of flotation after which I will give an example which will help us understand the law of flotation more. So we can simply state that the law of flotation states that a floating object floating body or object displaces its own weight displaces its own weight of the liquid of the fluid sorry on which it floats on which it floats so if an object floats, then the weight of the liquid or the fluid displaced will equal the weight of the solid or the body which is floating. Therefore, we can just take an example so that we may understand, it. We may understand better the law of flotation. So just to a glass tube as a uniform cross section area as uniform cross section area of four point five two square centimeters. It is weighed it is weight and floated in a liquid. It is weight and floated in a liquid. The length of the tube immersed in the liquid. The length of 
the liquid determine the density of the liquid. Therefore, it is very important. It is very important. Uh, we analyze this question and we solve it the way it should be solved. Therefore, here we are being given a glass tube whose uniform cross section area is 4.52 centimeters squared and it is weighed and floated in a liquid. Weighed and floated. So that the weight of that tube in the content is 80. It's 80. Therefore, now we have a liquid here. And a glass tube has just been floated such that part of the glass tube sinks. Hmm? Such that part of the glass tube, which is 16 centimeters, are sunk inside. This means, because we can get we can get a, we have already the weight of the glass tube. So weight of glass tube, weight of glass tube is given as 80 grams, which means, okay, this is mass. So the weight can be gotten by dividing by a thousand times g, and this will give us 0 0.8 newtons. Therefore, the glass weighs 0 0.8 newtons. If it weighs 0 0.8 newtons, this clearly tells us liquid displaced will have an equal mass or an equal weight. Weight of liquid displaced will be equal to weight of the floating glass tube. So weight of the liquid that has been displaced according to the law of floating, the law of flotation, will be equal to the weight of the glass tube which is floating. Therefore now, we can say that uh, the weight of the liquid is 0 0.89 which means its mass is just like the mass of the bottle glass tube which is 80.0 grams. Therefore, we know that there is part of this tube which has entered the liquid column so that some liquid might get displaced and that volume which has entered will be equal to the volume of the liquid which will get displaced. Therefore, volume of liquid displaced will be equal to cross-section area 4.52 times 16 cross-section area 4.52 times 16 and this will give us 72.32 2.32 cubic centimeters so now that we have volume of the liquid displaced and then we have the mass which must be equal to mass of the glass tube then we can relate and get density by mass out of volume. A mass of 80 divided by 72 by the beta. This will give us 1.106 grams per cubic centimeter grams per cubic centimeter. Therefore, we just have to compare that volume of the glass tube which has entered the liquid. We get its volume. So this volume of the glass tube will displace an equal volume of that fluid where it is floating. And therefore now with that, we can compute and get the density as we have done. Thank you for following. Kindly subscribe to Shifting Grades. Thank you very much.